Uh, Memorial Day, the unofficial start of summer and all the great outdoor activities, swimming, hiking. You gotta get in that bathing suit. So you don't want that quarantine 15 holding you back. That's why I got the chair here. I'm gonna do a little workout here this morning. Marine Corps combat veteran, creator of Unbroken Fitness, Eugene Neal joining us this morning to help you and me with my fitness goals. Good morning, thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Eric. Thanks for having me on today. All right, so uh, some people might be feeling out of shape. Uh, you know, the COVID-15 thing happened. They're getting out a little bit more. We're getting, uh, you know, to the beach more frequently. Um, you know, we got to get the, the body in shape here. It's not only just to look good, but to feel good, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So where can we start? So, you know, I like to make it really simple. So I like to focus on five separate movement patterns. A lot of people overcomplicate their fitness. So if you just focus on a push movement, like a push up or a bench dip, um, a pull movement, like a row, uh, a squat, a lunge and an overhead press, uh, then you really hit, you know, the, the, the vast majority of your body right then, right there. So the goal should be based on, on the process of all of this, not, on the results you say. So can you explain that? What does that all, all that mean? So, so many people get, get caught up in the end result. Like they, they, they look at the number on the scale and they're not seeing the progress, so they give up. Instead of focusing on the process that's gonna give them the results in the long term. So, you know, the process of like getting to the gym every day, making that part of, of your non-negotiables for the day. Um, eating, you know, three to five servings of vegetables every day, getting your sources of protein in. You know, those, those are the processes that are gonna give you the results in the long term. I've heard some people will like keep a little record book or like write it down or post something so they can see every day or they'll, they'll tell a friend that they worked out, like just to make sure they're kind of keeping themselves in check. It, it, little things like that, does, does that help in the, in the fitness goals? They're massive from a sports psychology standpoint. Uh, when you make public declarations, it becomes real, right? Now you have your community there to hold you accountable to that. So that's really important. Uh, but also creating stretch goals. And what I mean by stretch goals is you're not uh, creating, like if you don't work out at all right now, mm -hmm. don't make a goal to go train five, six, seven days a week. Right. Right? If you work out one day a week now, maybe bump it up to two. If you eat one serving of vegetables or no servings of vegetables, try and bump it up by one or two servings. There you go. Right? And it's just slightly out of your reach. Baby steps, right? Baby steps. You're right, because if, if, if you haven't worked out in a while, by that second day, you're going to be feeling it, and then you're going to give up on the third and fourth day, and that's not what we want, right? We want consistency. Right. Here. It's all about making realistic uh, goals for where you're at right now. And it's okay where you're at right now. Uh, it's, it, you don't have to feel bad about where you're at if you do or, or great about where you're at. Uh, just acknowledge where you're at right now in your journey and try and stretch yourself just a little bit further. 1% better every day. Okay, so we got a chair here. Uh, what can I do on this chair if I don't have all the dumbbells and all the bells and whistles? What can I do? So we're actually going to do an exercise that works both your chest and your triceps okay. called bench dips. So I've got my, my trial box up here. All I'm going to do is sit on the edge of the of oh, yeah, I can do chair that. or a box, let okay. your butt hang off the edge. Yep. Keep bent. I'm going to just lower yourself down, letting your back glide against the bench yep. while maintaining good posture. And then you're going to push yourself oh, back Oh, yeah, up. I like this one. I do yeah. this against the stairs at my house. Right. There you go. Okay, that works the tries. Yeah, yeah. And and you said chest too. I can do just uh, something as simple as a chair. Yeah. So the, believe it or not, so that act, that exercise actually works the chest. But you can also oh, turn sure. around if you need an elevated surface. You can actually do a push up. Okay. Yeah, you're a little wider on. You got a bench. I just have a simple chair. But I I think if you keep the hands keep the hands together, you're still working the pectoralis, right? You are, because the pec, understanding that the movement pattern of this, whether it's a bench press or yeah. whether it's cables or whether it's a machine at the gym, anytime you do this movement is gonna work your chest. So you really, you're only bound by your imagination if you understand the movement patterns that you're doing. If people need a little help, a little guidance, uh, where can they go to learn more about the services you offer here? Uh, they can visit me uh, uh, on uh, www.unbrokensd.com. That's our website. So uh, they can also check us out on YouTube. You can look up uh, Unbroken Fitness Solutions. You know, that's our, our business name. Awesome. And then we're also on Instagram and Facebook. 
So unbrokensd.com. Yeah. Eugene, thanks so much for your time. I'm really glad that we didn't have time to discuss my BMI versus your BMI. I'm, we're just we're right out of time here because you're looking pretty ripped there, my friend. <laughs> well, I'll just send you my schedule and you can go ahead and book online. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that'll put me <laughs> through the ropes for sure. If I see if I can survive that. Eugene, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Eric.